Cameron, go ahead, Cameron. Hey, good morning, Coach. Good morning. Hey, Coach, I want to ask you about um, – I know you don't want to talk about players that aren't there, but I'd be remiss if I don't ask you about Montrez. Was this an excuse absence? And then how, what's the reintroduction process uh, for him to come back to, into the team? I actually don't know the, uh, the process, but, um, you know, things happen in our lives, so we just got to leave it there. Okay. Thanks. Uh, Miriam, uh, go ahead, Miriam. There we go. Hi, Doc. Hey, what's hey. going on? Not much. Good morning. Hey, I, I wanted to ask you about the passing of John Lewis, and, and I wondered if you'd ever met him, and, and obviously this uh, is a big deal in this country. It is a big deal, um, Aaron. And, and yes, I had the pleasure of meeting him several times. Uh, I'll tell you a, a quick story. Um, I was young. I was playing for the Hawks, and, and I got to know Andy Young um, really well. And, 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 and um, Andrew was running for, pres uh, for uh, governor, and I went on a campaign trip uh, with John Lewis and uh, Andy Young. Just think about that. I was, a, I don't know, 26, maybe 27. I don't know how old I was. Um, and we flew to Albany, Georgia, uh, of all places. And Andrew Young gave a speech um, uh, at an all-white church, and he was fantastic. It was, it was an absolutely amazing speech. And um, you know, the crowd was going crazy. And uh, we get on the plane, and we're talking. And and Andrew Young turns to me and says, "You know, they used to call me Young Doc." Uh, he says, "Young Doc, what did you think about?" Uh, the speech and I jokingly said, well, uh, Mr. Young, um, I thought the speech was great, but I don't think you're getting one vote from that church. And everybody started laughing. Um, and John Lewis piped in and says, well, we're not trying to get all of them. We're just trying to get one at a time. And eventually it will be all of them. Uh, I thought that was just one powerful statement. So really sad day um, for our country. Um, what, what's amazing, uh, Maram, is when you think about it right now, uh, some of the stuff that John Lewis was fighting for, we're still fighting for. Uh, voter suppression right now is at an all-time high. Uh, it's amazing how hard we have a group of people who are trying to get uh, people not to vote. Uh, Latinos, Blacks, and young people are the targets. Uh, that's who they're trying to get not to vote. And uh, it's amazing when you think about how long ago that was, and yet we're still we're still fighting that fight. Thanks, Miriam. Thank you, Doc. Uh, next question is from Brad Turner. Good morning, Dr. Rivers. Brad, it's seven. What time? Wow. <laughs> I'm, so I'm really impressed with you this morning. Hey, I'm impressed by me too. <laughs> But I was you know, wondering, it's been, what, about a week of practice so far for you guys? Yeah, yeah. I think this how, is, are, how are they coming along with these practices? And oh, great. How do you try great. to push them the right way? You know, I don't know the right way. I don't think anyone does, uh, Brad. This is not normal, you know, where we're practicing uh, for this long, number one, um, and in the same, in different gyms every day uh, for the most part. But it's all good. Like our guys, uh, I tell you, they're they're coming together. Like you know, we're not there yet, but you can just feel it, uh, and, and it's great. Uh, the spirit, though, is is absolutely off the charts, and and that's what you need. Thanks, Brad. Uh, next up is Lisa Salters. Go ahead, Lisa. Lisa, hey, Lisa, you're up as well. Or are you here? I'm here. I'll see you on okay. Monday. Okay. I'll see you on Monday. All right. Um, just uh, to follow up with the Montrez thing, just do you, I know you don't know what the protocol to have him re-enter might be, but do you expect to have him back for the scrimmages? Or are you looking more towards the restart of the regular season games? Yeah, we don't know, uh, Lisa. It's, a, uh, you know, obviously a personal matter at home that he, he did need to go to. Uh, and so we just going to wait for him. Like when he needs to get back, he'll be back. Okay, and secondly, I remember the weekend before everything shut down, being in your office, 
and we were just kind of shooting it around. Who's your MVP? I mean, it's it's a two man race, LeBron, Giannis. So now it looks like we're going with the body of work we have. So what what do you think? I'm just gonna make it an eight game race. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever plays the best in the eight games wins it. <laughs> no, these eight games aren't gonna count. Oh, they're not counting the voting. No, no, it's just the body work we've already seen. So the restart games will not count for MVP. I don't, They're voting well, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, uh, they both have had great years. You know, Giannis has just been dominant. Uh, I don't think I'm upset at either one. I'm taking the, the easy way out on that one. I'm good with either one. <laughs> Thanks, Docs. Thanks, Lisa. Uh, next up is uh, Tim Reynolds. Hey, Doc. Good morning. Good morning. The... I know one of the great advantages of this whole situation is the team bonding, but where's that line between bonding and getting sick of each other, right? Being around each other a little too much and how valuable would the scrimmages be to kind of break that up a little bit? You know, it's funny. Uh, I don't, I, I don't sense that uh, at all. Um, it, it reminds me again, as the, you know, the greatest basketball camp in the history of mankind and, uh, but I thought, I think the league has done a, a great job of giving us, we have so many things we can do and it's going to keep becoming more once the campus opens more. And, you know, they have the card room for the players, uh, golf, uh, guys are at the pool, you know, guys are fishing, uh, bike riding. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff to do. And so far that I haven't heard, but I do think the games will help. So I, I, I think, um, it'll be nice to see, you know, some new meat, some new blood, uh, instead of practicing against ourselves every day. That's for sure. All right. Thank you, Tim. Uh, Corey Maggetti. Hey, Doc. How are you? What's up, Corey? I wanted to know how much time have you had to break down, like, players individually to see where they can actually be better on the floor at this time? Well, we've had a lot of time. I think that's probably the biggest thing we've had is, you know, because we have, we've had so many days in a row. I mean, this, again, usually camp was what, five days and, and you're playing exhibition games. This has been two weeks. And so there's been a lot of individual work. One of the things the league has done that's, that's really smart. Like today we practice at, at 10 o'clock, right? And uh, every night at seven, you get two more hours in the gym to just do individual stuff and, and it's not mandatory, but you know, a lot of guys go. And so we're, we're able to really break down some of the things that we do uh, as a group and then break down individual stuff, which has been, been really good. Thanks, Corey. Doc, last question comes from Kyle. Go ahead, Kyle. Hey, Doc, how are you? I'm great. Um, I, I know these decisions are extremely personal um, and, and on, when to come to the bubble at all, and for some guys to, to if they need to take these absences, um, have you let it at all enter your mind, um, this, or have you had discussions with family members what um, situations might require you to leave, or is that just something you can't think about, or it's not constructive to think about? No, well, I mean there are situations, but we don't ever know what they are, you know. Um, uh, we are in a unreal life, you know, being an NBA, I always tell our guys that, and then real life joins in all the time. I think the NBA is probably learning that lesson, you know, probably seeing all the different personal reasons why guys have to leave, you know, uh, that's real life. And, and one of the things we do here at least is we want our guys to get, be part of the real life. And so we, we understand that, but no, there's not, you can't target things. You just have to react to things. Great. Thank you, Doc. Have a good practice.